Giant Jelly Jaws and the Pirates by Helen Bohr and Ben Mantle. Since he was a little boy of two or maybe three, Jake had longed to sail away with pirates out to sea. And now at last the day had come for Jake to say ahoy. He was going to join a pirate crew and be their cabin boy. Hurry up, landlubber, snort nosed Ned cried. Don't delay, this treasure map will make us rich. Arr, anchors away. All the pirates on the ship were fearsome rabble rousers. Fish breath Fred, the captain kept live lobsters in his trousers. And as Jake soon discovered, they were quite revolting too. Each man had rotten teeth and fleas and smelt of fish gut stew. Although Jake tried to fit in once the ship was out at sea, his hands were soft, he smelt of soap, he cried when he scratched his knee. He didn't have the head for heights to climb to the crow's nest. He didn't have the heart to catch the rats who were a pest. Then Park Pants Pete found out that Jake had never had a fight. And that was more, he still slept with his teddy bear at night. Captain Fishbreath Fred in fury stamped and stomped and cursed. Of all the cabin boys we've ever had, ye be the worst. Then one night Jake asked, please tell me, who's your figurehead? It's giant jelly jaws to scare our foals, Long John Jim said. The crew drank fizzy pirate pop and burped and shared their tales of the grisly, gruesome sea monster the size of seven whales. It stings just like a jellyfish and bites just like a shark. It can smell you from 10 miles away and see you in the dark. It sucks in a massive gulps of air and does the loudest burps. It can swallow pirate ships like this down hole in just two slurps. Next morning, but Beard Bob woke all the pirates up with a yell. He'd seen another Jolly Roger high above the swell. Shake a leg, me hearties, get your PJs off for starters. A scurvy bunch of boil rats wants to have our guts for garters. The whole crew jumped straight to it, getting ready for a fight. Except for Jake, who hid behind some kegs of pop in fright. The other pirates soon arrived and caused a huge uproar. Give up ye treasure map ye grubs, or be prepared for war. Captain Fishbreath Fred stood firm and snorted in disgust. This treasure map is ours, so brace your breeches, we fight we must. Both sides fought hard and dirty, using brawn and brain and muscle. But in the end the other team of pirates won the tussle. Shiver me timbers, mateys, the situation stank. Without some kind of miracle, our boys would walk the plank. Still down behind the kegs of pop, Jake looked on in dismay. How ever was he going to make things right and save the day? Then inspiration struck. After a quick and canny think, Jake opened up a keg and guzzled all the fizzy drink. In a matter of mere moments, his small tummy grew quite round. Then down from deep within it came a rumbly sort of sound. The bubbles rose up to his nose and tiggled like a feather. But Jake sniffed hard to snort them down and pursed his lips together. When the time was right at last, Jake didn't have a doubt. He opened up his mouth and let a monster come out. Every single pirate's blood ran ice cold at the sound. A noise like that meant giant jelly jaws must be around. Abandon ship, the captain of the rogue pirates decreed. Then off they sailed in mortal fear and panic at full speed. 
Captain Fish Breath Fred and crew thought they were surely doomed. That all they could do now was wait in dread to be consumed. But then they heard Jake's little voice cry. Shipmates, don't you see? Giant Jelly Jaws was not the burper. It was me. The pirates were astounded. The boy had saved them all. Who'd have thought a burp so big could come from one so small? Much manly hugging later, and a secret tear or two, the pirates checked their map once more and sailed off through the blue. When they reached the island, Bogey Bill soon found a spot. The X marked on their map where they should dig for the jackpot. The pirates were so happy that their quest was at an end. They shared a hot fish finger feast and praised their new found friend. Burt boy Jake, you saved us all and helped us find this chest. Of all the cabin boys we've ever had, ye be the best.